In an Australian first trial, a futuristic fleet of cars has just hit Melbourne's shores. The electric vehicles, which run entirely on hydrogen, will be put to the test before going on sale in the next few years. Carrie-Anne Greenbank took it for a test drive. Cruising the streets of Altona, our latest electric car with the difference. This one runs on hydrogen. In an Australian first trial, Toyota has imported a small fleet of the new cars and have just handed the keys over to Hobson's Bay Council. With great honour, we um, pass you the keys to your uh, mirror. Where, for the next three months, workers will road test the futuristic-looking fleet and report back. How green are we in Hobson's Bay? So green! Yay! Yay! We are so excited about being part of an Australia first. The Mariah runs on electricity produced by the car sucking in oxygen and combining it with hydrogen gas. The car's obviously very quiet. It's fully electric, so the car's on now, ready to drive. The result is a vehicle that's virtually silent, with zero emissions, only producing water that, it's claimed, is pure enough to drink. Technically, out of the fuel cell, yes, it is drinkable water. With only 6,000 of the cars sold overseas, mostly in Japan and the US, a lack of refuelling stations in Australia means they're still not on the market here. Is one of a number of brands ready to move when these kind of hydrogen pumps are eventually introduced at service stations. To see them on the road, infrastructure is the key. So we, behind me here, we have our, our mobile refueler. Obviously, this is a, a temporary solution to a long-term problem. So the reason why brands such as Toyota, Hyundai, Honda, Mercedes-Benz are introducing hydrogen-powered cars is because they see it's the future way that's going to power our transport. Forklifts are among other vehicles getting clean, green and H2-powered, and the race is on to see just how far the hydrogen revolution can go. It's currently being pumped into the nation's gas grid in an experimental trial and has opened up export opportunities for the future. Australia is actually quite unique when it comes to hydrogen because we have an opportunity to be a large-scale exporter of hydrogen to the world. As for the Mirai, which is Japanese for the future, it's unclear how much it would cost, but it wouldn't be cheap. It's selling overseas for just under 60,000 US. The car can drive for up to 550 kilometres on one tank with the only emission being water vapour or at the push of a button, pure water is purged from the back of the car which Matt here assures me is good enough to drink. Cheers. Good. Not bad. Hobson's Bay's mayor says she'll have a sip next time. We're the greenest council in Australia. Carrie-Anne Greenbank, Nine News. Well, Madeline